Sanko AP Physics Experiment Number 7, Conservation of Momentum with Ballistic Pendulum. Students investigate conservation of momentum by launching a ball into a pendulum. This lab teaches the conservation of energy and momentum by measuring the initial velocity of a launched projectile. Students are also required to design an alternative experiment and way to determine the conserved values. The kit includes a ballistic pendulum, two 50 newton spring scales, a metric ruler, cord, a stopwatch, and a caliper. A force probe may be used instead of the spring scales but is not included. Required what's not included in the kit is a triple beam balance and a meter stick. With the Fundamentals of Physics Ballistic Pendulum, students can investigate conservation of energy and angular motion. You have a freely moving pendulum that catches a ball that is launched from this launcher. There is a sliding scale that will automatically adjust to whatever the maximum height is so that you can easily record the angle that the projectile reached and then calculate what the maximum distance was that the object was raised. This is how the apparatus comes straight out of the box. There is a scale along the launcher mechanism, which is just there for reference. It is not in centimeters or meters or inches. It is simply there so that you, when you pull it back, you have a fixed reference of lines to measure back from. It also comes with a small steel projectile and a um, probe. So basically, when you have the ball in there, you can easily push it back out and get the ball out easily. It also has a nice little attachment where you can easily connect a photo gate to so you can measure the, the velocity of the ball as it is being launched. And also on the end of the launch mechanism there is a hook so you can attach this to a spring scale and actually directly measure the force in which you're pulling back on the um, launch mechanism and you can have the students use this to calculate the velocity of the ball. Now when you first take this out, you might want to do a couple test shots to make sure this didn't shift at all in shipping. You can adjust this left or right or on the vertical stand, adjust it up or down to make sure it catches the ball properly. Then you simply set the lever arm at the zero angle, pull it back to the first notch, set up the photo gain interval mode. Now that everything is set up, we're going to do a test fire. Now you have the angle to which the projectile rose. Then you just use the probe, pop out the steel ball, and you're ready to go again. 